shells can be left-handed? Wait, how do they even have hands? Okay, let's back up a second. Welcome to Treasure Seekers Virtual Adventures. Today we're going to be talking about the lightning whelk, the only left-handed shell you can find in North America. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow all of our daily finds and episodes as they come out in the next few weeks. Let's get started. Calusa tribes lived in the Southwest Florida area from 500 AD all the way up to the 1700s. We've been finding artifacts here in the 10,000 Islands and Marco Island area for a long time. And some of the things we've learned about these people is most of their resources were seashells and shellfish. Now, the lightning whelk, of course, is a really large shell. The females can get larger than a football and they're extremely sturdy. So one of the things they used to do is use them for tools. You'll see here in some pictures that we have uh, sticks that would be put through the tops. They'd use them as hammers and as carving tools. They would even use them for fishing net sinkers and for jewelry. Now, while we don't have any authentic tool artifacts to show you today, you can view such things and replicas of these at a few museums in the area. The Marco Island History Museum has a few, and you can see some at the Mound House in Fort Myers Beach. So, the lightning whelk is the largest sinistral shell in the world. Sinistral means that it spirals to the left. Now, if you look at the gastropods in North America, pretty much all of them will spiral around to the right. And if you look at a lightning whelk, it actually opens on the left side. And there's many theories about why these shells do this. And there's a few other species in the world that will do this. But we truthfully don't really know. Now you may have seen some of their egg casings on the beach before. It looks like a big snake skin. And here we have a little jar of some baby ones. Now it's important to note that if you ever see an egg casing on the beach, you don't take it if it is still hydrated. This means that the eggs inside may still be active and it could potentially be alive. If you find an egg casing that is already dried out and dehydrated, probably up in the rack line, then you're good to go. But we, of course, want to observe proper conservation ethics and guidelines by not taking anything that's living. Now, the smaller lightning whelks can be found along shores of pretty much any barrier island here in southwest Florida. But the larger ones, the big females, these trophy shells, again, you'll want to wade out into the water offshore if you can, especially at a low tide. Here's some pictures and videos of some of our guests who've been lucky enough to find one of these beauties. <laughs>
much for joining us on today's episode about the lightning wealth. I hope you have a wonderful day. Enjoy your shelling. Don't forget to follow us online and subscribe to our channel to see all of our daily finds. Happy shelling, everybody.